Welcome to today's 3D print. Another quickie. I want to pick your brains. I have access to some subscribers and some of you guys are very skilled, so I'm hoping you can help me with something. I am trying, you'll see when the educational video posts, I believe, on Saturday or Sunday. Um, I talk about infill and perimeters. But I tried my hand at slightly more advanced editing. Um, I can do mucks and demucks, and I can do cut and join. Cut's a pain. I try to do cut in the camera, you know, start, stop, and but join is easy. Like my last video, I had to stop to go check the printer to make sure it was okay, so I hit stop and I hit start, and I'll just join those two videos together. It's a fast operation, doesn't take a lot of time. My problem is time. If I have to transcode the video, if I actually have to encode the video, not simply join frames, that takes a lot of time. So that educational video that you'll see in a few days, that took over an hour to transcode, and I have a quad core 3 gigahertz machine with 16 gigabytes of RAM. So it's not my computer. It's just transcoding video takes time, especially when it's higher resolution. Um, a lot of the videos on YouTube that are successful have a particular structure they use. So it'll be like, hi, welcome to today's 3D print. Today we're gonna to talk about these cool nose cones. Stop. And then intro, and then come back and Let's talk about how I made this nose cone today. That's the kind of structure they use. A little bit of blurb in the beginning, five seconds, just to tell you what you're about to experience with the video. Get it right out there. Say, we're gonna talk about Aquaticus today. Stay tuned. And then you play your little intro that helps people associate with your channel, makes it look a little more professional, and then you go into your video. Okay, this way people, right in the first 10 seconds, they know what you're going over and who you are. And so I'm trying to work toward that but the problem is that requires editing. And editing requires time, and time is one thing I simply do not have. Later in the future, if I actually can make a living at this, I'll have time, then I can get more advanced in editing. But for now, I need to be able to just say, okay, you know, start, do my five second blurb, stop. Grab my intro, start, do my video. Then call the file one, two, and three, and then join those three files together, and boom, video's done. The problem is the intro. Apparently, the videos have to be the same. So, for example, on that video, I used this um, to record the video. So, I hit record, did my intro blob, then I grabbed my intro file that I made, which is basically just a three second version of this doing nothing. Because um, I don't know how to make that kind of stuff yet. So, for now, it's just three seconds of that no emotion or anything, it's just a video that's static for three seconds of that. And then I did another video on this and I put them together. The problem is, when I put them together, I got audio only. <laughs> no video. Um, sometimes you can merge different videos together and it will work. But apparently in this case, the videos are too different. The codec, the frame rate, the bit rate, the resolution, the audio, whatever enough was different that the program could not successfully mux the files together, join the files together without a problem. And um, so what I have a question for you guys is, how do I grab the fingerprint of the video that this camera makes and encode my little intro clip with that same fingerprint? So the same bitrate, resolution, color depth, audio bitrate, quality, resolution, channels, basically make it as if that video came from this camera. I tried just holding this camera in front of the screen and recording for three seconds, it doesn't work. It looks ugly, it looks nasty, I have to get close enough to the screen to um, not have stuff in the background, that distortion comes into a play and the black doesn't look black and it's not in focus because it's too close, it just doesn't work, it's not professional, it's nasty. The best I could probably do is to print out a poster of that and then record the poster and that might get me close, but the actual clip I made is much better. Um, I, just, I found an online converter where I give it a JPEG, I tell it to cut from zero to five seconds and it made me a five second video of that JPEG and it worked great. But the videos aren't identical. So does anybody out there know what I can use or how I can use something to I need to do it twice, once for the Lumix and once for the um, action camera. I need to make my intro video have the same codec fingerprint as this video so that they are identical enough 
that like two or three clips from this camera I can join together, I can include my intro in that join because then it's a 10 minute operation to join them all together instead of a hour and a half operation to join them all together because that's the transcode. If I can just use a join, 10 minutes and it's done, um, which saves me time. <laughs> Basically, there won't be intros if I have to do a transcode for every video. It's, it, it's, too, much, it's too much time. I, don't, I, I can't stay up to 4 o'clock in the morning every morning transcoding videos. I just can't. So if anybody knows how to do that, let me know because obviously I'm very good at rambling. That's it. You guys have a great day.